So this person said, what do you think black men date? Uh, it's supposed to say, why do you think black men date outside their race so much? And obviously I've explained this a few times and now I'm going to give it a shot again. Um, what it is, is people date within their social circle. So forget race for a minute. Let me give you a good analogy and a good example of dating within your social circle. Let's take a black man who's a banker, okay? Working in corporate London, in central London somewhere. Imagine he works for corporate Barclays or corporate um, HSBC, yeah? So retail HSBC will be working in the bank. Oh, can I have £10 withdrawal, yeah? Corporate HSBC or corporate Barclays is in Canary Wharf, those big towers, yeah? If a guy is a banker working in central London, yeah, working in corporate London, if he's a black man, how many black women do you think are in his office or in his workspace for him to pick from? Like, how many black people? Right, you might see a few black people working in corporate London and that, but that's a few out of hundreds and thousands of non-black people. So you have a few black people amongst hundreds and thousands of non-black people in corporate London. Like I said, people date within their social circle. So as a black man, if you're surrounded by white women, Indian women or Chinese women or whatever in that, blood, that's what you're going to date. That's what you're going to date. And then on top of that, the black chicks make it even harder for certain man because, oh, you're not gangster enough. Oh, you don't wear LV and you're not interested in driving a Mercedes and that. So they're not these chicks that are talking about, ah, oh, they don't want to date. Oh, when black men get money, they go and find themselves a white girl. Blood. It's a case of dating within your social circle. And then the chicks them are making it even harder. Come on, man. Do the maths. Do the maths. Oh, why is it when these black footballers get money? Obviously, because they're footballers and that. Why do they always get themselves a white girl? Blood. The clubs they're going to is VIP clubs, yeah? Very, very important people. They're not going to be going to no ghetto-ass fucking rave in Shoreditch, be at one, bar one, or corner shop, or fucking cargo in Shoreditch. They're not going to these ghetto-ass raves and that. They're going to raves and clubs where you need to be a part of the guest list. And unfortunately, women that look like me, no one wants to fucking invite their ass to no damn... Um, parties and that yeah they don't know i didn't even mean that as a disrespect but they don't know this they don't know the right people to be accepted into these places and that you, you, you can't think about color yeah it's about class and who like and i don't believe in this who you know bullshit but you understand what i'm trying to say it's not about color it just so happens that black people don't fit into these certain categories and that because there's a lot of white people that wouldn't be able to get into these certain clubs and whatnot so it's got nothing to do with, oh, a black man gets money, so he goes and finds himself a, a, a white chicken. Man. No, man, it's, it's not that. And men, you will have more black men willing to date outside their race than black women. Or willing to date outside their race. Yeah, that's what men, men are like. We, we don't, men are less racist, yeah, yeah, when it comes to that than women. We don't give a fuck. I remember one of my brethren was making jokes. Like, he was dead serious. He was saying, I want to, uh, obviously, he wants a black child. He wants a child that's half Latino, yeah, Puerto Rican, fucking Chinese. He, he's saying he want one in every race, yeah. That's what a man's talking. You'll never hear a black chick talking like that. You'll never hear a woman talking like that. You'll never hear a woman talking like that. 